Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're gonna be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Gosmar TA for you guys. Just a brief little scroll through my battle log just so you can see the ratio of Emperor players I'm currently fighting right now. And I think I'm reaching the point of the season where my motivation is starting to decline really, really fast because I'm fighting players that are kind of out of my league, if I'm being honest here. Um, the gear gap, the unit gap, it's it's definitely being felt right now. It's an uphill battle with every match, but we're going to do our best. And we're going to try to uh, hold off our opponents here. What is this guy doing? Dragon King Sharoon first pick. This guy's cooking something, and I don't, I don't like it. He's preventing me from using DDR, I guess. Maybe he's using Dragon King Sharoon and DDR together. All right. Um, I completely lost my train of thought of what I was saying before this, but anyway, uh, what are we doing to a Dragon King Sharoon here? <laughs> is this a, is an A Tywin game? Probably. Probably an A Tywin game for me. A Tywin, I'm probably going to be fighting an LRK, so I do have to watch out for that. We can probably Midnight Gala Lilius it, though. Um, but what are we doing to a Dragon King Sharoon? Do we go OG Sharoon? That might be cool. Might be cool. Elena? No, I don't think we need that much cleansing. Do we go OG Sharoon here, or Ocean Breeze Luluka? Let's go OG Sharoon. I'm, I'm anticipating an LRK, so this is what we're going for. Oh no, Ocean Breeze, Lulika, and DDR. Oh no, what? Hang on, that's a full Soul Weaver team. Oh no, 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 that's not good. That's not good at all. How do you fight this? What? Is this gonna be one of those D-Gen teams? Like, what is happening here? Uh, triple Soul Weavers. I can't Midnight Gala Lilius this team because the Ocean Breeze Luluka is there. The Last Rider Crowl's not great either. Oh no! Like, how do you how do you fight this? Um, Dilibet? I think Dilibet's okay, right? We could probably Dilibet this team. Okay, that's one unit. <laughs> what am I gonna do for the others? Uh, do we go Navy Captain Landy? Maybe. We, we're gonna desperate times call for desperate measures, guys. Navy Captain Landy. Rylet is pretty good into Navy Captain Landy, so we're kind of screwed in that regard. Memo mm, Ken's also good into Navy Captain Landy. We're kind of screwed in that regard. Alright, so essentially what I'm seeing here is we're dead. Because uh, none of my units here are good against Rylet, none of my units here are good against M.O. Ken. So we got drafted into quite a corner here. Um, I don't think there's any other cleanser that we can bring that's good into this team. So I think we're pretty much dead. None yet. Yep, so let's just go for something like this. And we're going to have to ban... Probably going to have to ban DDR. Not gonna lie, probably gonna have to ban DDR. We're bringing Spirit Isolene for the ML Ken and the Remnant Violet, but we're gonna ban DDR here. I don't think we have enough to uh, to deal with him. I don't think so. So hopefully Spirit Isolene doesn't get banned because we're really gonna need her here. She's gonna need to step up. There's a lot of debuffs on the other side, and I don't know if she can actually do this. Shoot, <laughs> shoot. That's all I can say is now we're screwed. Because we're fighting ML Ken and Remnant Violet. And ML Landy is dead. Landy's dead here. Unless we're countering into Oblivion, we're dead. Because there's no way we can uh, kill this ML Ken. There's no way we kill this ML Ken. Unless uh, A Tywin ignores Rez and we stun him. There's no way. Absolutely no way. Alright, so Sharoon's gonna go. I don't think we go for her... Uh, skills yet. Let's go for the Dragon King Sharoon. Just kind of hit her here. Oh, she's on touch of Rekos. Okay, so let's try to see if we can provoke. Okay, so she just 15 percent me there. That's great. I think my opponent needed a bit of help, you know. I don't think my opponent has enough uh, advantage over me right now. 
so 15% was kind of necessary there. Okay, uh, Ocean Breeze Luluka is going to go. She's going to pop the defense buff, and we got the ice cream buff as well. The good thing about Sharuna, she is giving, uh, she is going to give maybe Captain Landy a bit of a boost. Oh, shoot, we did get hit there. It's a lot of damage. We're on proof of valor, though. Thankfully, it's not going to hurt as bad. We're pretty tanky on Dilibet. Uh, let's go for the... Let's go for the Dragon King Sharoon. We're going to get provoked here. It's... Oh, no! That's huge! Nice salvo! Hang on just a second, guys. I think we're, I think we're in business. Um, we go for Sharoon's S3. We need a turn cycle here. We need to try to strip this defense buff from everyone. My Shroon only has about 100 effectiveness, I think, so it's not enough to really do much. Yeah, and we missed on the Rylet too. It's okay, though, because look at Landy. She has an attack buff and a crit damage buff. The unfortunate thing is, we are going to get all those buffs stripped, but A. Tywin is thankfully going to cleanse that defense break off of the uh, Navy Captain Landy, so that's good. Uh, we do have the Rage debuff, so let's go for the S3. Hopefully we ignore Rez here and stun the Ocean Breeze Luluka. That'd be kind of nice. I really want to hit the, uh, the Ken, though. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. So even though she gets the Cascade debuff there, uh, what we can do is uh, go for the... Because Emma can lost this turn, and that's all I care about. So we're going to reduce the cooldown there for one turn. Cascade's going to hurt quite a bit, and he's going to go for the Dilibet. Okay. So Sharoon cleanses the sleep off of herself. It's okay. It's fine. No stuns coming in still. And at this point... Ooh, I don't know who to really go for. Let's go for this. Right, he is going to come to me. Dilibet's holding on. She's going to cleanse on the next turn. That's fine. Let's go for a hit onto the Ocean Breeze Luluka. Let's go ahead and soul burn this. Because she is defense broke. If I can get rid of the support units, I think we'll be fine. I just really got to get rid of these support units. So Dragon King Shroon is down. A Tywin is going to go. Uh, let's keep hitting this Ocean Breeze Luluka. Because that defense break. Nice cleanse. The Wondrous Potion Vial. And we'll go for a hit on... Is, did ML Ken even use his S3 yet? No. Do we risk hitting the ML Ken? I think so. Ooh, that's not really what I wanted there. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That dual attack came to bite me. Oh, shoot. Um, there's no debuffs on my team either right now. Dill that can't cut. Ooh, but maybe Captain Landy? Maybe Captain Landy? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We hit the Rylet there. We hit the Rylet. Nice. Good job, Dilibet. Good job, Dilibet. Uh, let's go for an S3. She's about to die anyway. If I don't S3, the, the ML can will still kill us, so... Okay. Remnant Violet is going to be going, though. He's going to go into the A Tywin. Hopefully he doesn't kill. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. No wonder... Uh, wait. Oh, no. That's like Dilibet's health. No, no. I was like, that's an 18k HP Rylet? There's no way. Okay. We have a attack buff, crit damage buff, Landy. Full stacks. Please kill the ML Ken. Please kill the ML Ken. Come on now, Navy Captain Landy. Oh, yes! Alright. We are looking good now. We're looking good! We're looking good. Okay, uh, let us go for an S1. I don't want Sharoon to lap here. Okay, never mind, we hit him. Oh, okay, never mind, we got this. <laughs> if Sharoon lapped with an S3 and we, we missed both hits, it'll proc the Rylet again. But thankfully, thankfully, ML Landy pulled through. That was a terrifying draft. What a disgusting draft. I also didn't realize this guy is uh, one of the top guilds in Korea. So one of the top guilds in Korea there. That's terrifying. Triple Soul Weaver draft, and we somehow made it out alive. A Tywin, I think, was the MVP there. I think his ignore res, uh, defense break, and stun with that S3, getting rid of the two Soul Weavers early on was huge. Uh, and then we were able to um, chip down that ML Ken. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think we played that quite well, though. <laughs> I think we played that quite I'm a little proud of myself right now. Having a little moment here. Okay. All right, let's jump into it again. This guy's gonna go for ooh, Bellion and Navy Captain Landy. He's probably going for an aggro or a cleave team. So Laya is not the first pick here. Not the first pick at all. We need to be very careful. Uh, so he's gonna go for some faster play, a faster unit. Actually, Laya could Laya could be good here. 
um, I'm just thinking about the uh, potential that we had with Laia, DJB, and Troublemaker Crozette pushing up Karina. This might actually be okay. So let's go for it. Let's just go for the Laia first pick. It might actually be okay, because otherwise I think the first pick there would have probably been a damage mitigator like ROL, something really strong to solidify a uh, tanky team. But I think this is okay. We'll start off with this. Um, and if he goes for debuffers, we go DJB. If he goes like if it's Zero Ron, like DJB Karina is probably what I'd prob uh, probably what I'd use into him. But they're thinking really Yo, hard right now. Yep, Zio, gotta go for the Ron. Yep, okay. So DJB Karina, I think, is the play here. There's no belly, and we can't block souls. He's gonna be soul burning, and it's gonna hurt a lot. But DJB and Karina, Sage Ball is an option for us. We might also just want a uh, damage mitigator on the team, but I don't know if I want to pick someone slower, like Crimson Armin, who's never going to take a turn, whose only job there is to mitigate damage, or if I want somebody who could actually maybe take a turn here, like Trollmaker Crozet, who's a bit faster. I think Trollmaker Crozet might be the play. Alright, so he's going to go for Ludwig. We're going to ban him. There's no... Ooh, but Politis is there too. Oh, that sucks, guys. That really sucks. Politis is going to cut our combat readiness gains in half. Uh, we're gonna have to ban the Ludwig. There's no way you can let him through. There's n absolutely no way we can let someone like that through. So, Troublemaker Crozet might be the play here. I think he is. Troublemaker Crozet is the play, and I think Sage Ball is... I think what's gonna happen is this. He's gonna go for a last pick, um, Commander Pavel, and we're dead. Absolutely dead absolutely dead here if he goes for Commander Pavel, because Ludwig with Commander Pavel is super difficult to draft against. Politis here cutting my gains in half, and I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. Abyssal Euphine, so we get no combat readiness gains. But, the good thing is Abyssal Euphine is not a cleave damage dealer, so aside from Politis, he doesn't really have the damage. So while I get no combat readiness gains, I think this might be okay. Maybe. I mean, he can still soul burn his Politus to oblivion, but he can soul burn Ron and soul burn Politus, so we're gonna get hit. DJB is gonna die, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what are we mitigating damage for? Who's Troublemaker Crew's that protect? Sage Ball? Protect the Sage Ball in the back? I think DJB's dead, so there's no reason to, uh, to protect him here, right? What does Laia have? Health for everyone, or health for herself? I think just health for herself is fine. DJB... I think he's dead. I think we're getting, uh... We're getting screwed anyway, so let's just do this. Let's give HP to everybody. I, I don't think he's resisting anything here, because Rowan's gonna soul burn, right? And I don't think Zeo's gonna hit... I think Zeo's, Zeo can hit anybody, actually, so... Oh, shoot, this guy recognizes me, too. Dude, you trapped me in draft so hard. You trapped me in draft really hard, man. I think I'm dead, so... <laughs> no combat readiness gains, but we'll see what happens. Politis can't cut us, is the main thing. Politis can't cut us. So he is gonna S2, Soulburn S3. Politis can't cut. We're gonna try our best. We're gonna try our best here. Oh, this is really bad, guys. Really, really bad. Because DJB, if he tries to cleanse, is also not really gonna do too- Oh, you are an Eld! You! You! Dual attacked! What is happening? Huh? Oh, no. What is that? What is this? Oh, no. What is happening? That is awful! You're killing Laia- oh, Jesus Christ, there's no way Sage Ball's gonna live this. What just happened, guys? That was not even fair! That was not even fair! Legitimately, what happened? I- I don't even... 
We have to S2, I think. We just have to get as many people to lose their turns as possible. What in the world? I don't think Sage Ball can do it, because uh, Abyssal Yuffie now is just an anger for the team, so she will eventually just kill Sage... Unless we can kill Abyssal Yuffie, which I don't think we're doing. Oh, that counter is not helping me at all. I don't think we can kill Abyssal Yuffie with, uh, with Sage Ball's damage, and even if we do, if she's on Holy Sack, she'll come back, and uh, we're just... we're dead. Because Ron has his skills back up, too. No, that's not, that's not worth it, guys. I just... Wow, we got... I feel like I kind of got a little bit cheated there. Now, would I have won if he didn't RNG me twice? Perhaps not. Um, because that Abyssal Yuffie is still really, really tough to beat with just a Sage Ball there. Lion could potentially do it. Like, if we just stalled enough and we got lucky and Abyssal Yuffie didn't counter us, like, if she's on Holy Sack, then she won't Elbrus us. We can finish off all the squishy units, right? I feel like we might have had a chance. There might have been a slim chance there, because that was huge. I don't know how to describe to you guys the the impact that RNL into a dual attack had on that match. Oh, it was a little discouraging right there. But we push forward, we push forward. All right, this guy's good taste. Luluka uh, X Violet here. Good little couple to ship. All right, let's, uh, let's hopefully not get RNG'd. Please. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Um, Alright, Laya first. Alright, Knockwell banned along with DDR. It's interesting that Knockwell's pre banned when they're first picking Laya, but perhaps they're afraid or they've had experiences where Laya gets uh, post banned and Knockwell makes it through draft. Okay, so we're gonna go for a. Uh, DDR's gone. If we go for. LRK. I think we go LRK here just for the bait to get that um, Minega Lilius out so we can fight her. I don't want to fight Midnight Gala Lilius. We're going to go uh, Lionheart. If my opponents are going to just dual attack me randomly, let's go and pick Lionheart so we can at least punish that. Okay, and. I'm expecting Minica Lilius to come out right about now. We'll go Abigail. Oh no! Arwell! Okay, I mean... That's fine. We'll go Abigail still. Oh no, we're not gonna go Abigail still. Oh shoot, no, 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 no Abigail here. What are we doing to this? This is like a Bryceria match, isn't it? It's a Bryceria game where we can ignore Rez. Yeah. It's a Bryceria game. We're gonna go Bryceria and ML Kawazu. I think this is fine. Bryceria, Infernal Kawazu, both have Ignore Res. Okay, we're gonna need a Mage in here as well to, to Ignore Res with Briar Witch though. So, I need to prepare myself to get a Mage, but uh, do we have enough supports? What if we get debuffed into Oblivion? Who's on book here? Who's on book? Oh shoot, oh no, that's not good at all. Uh, Laika's gonna nuke us, and Midnight Gala Lilius, oh shoot, no, 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 this is bad, this is really, really bad. Alright, uh, we're gonna hope that Kawazu makes it through draft, and that Elvira can die because of him, because we have to go for an ab, and this is emergency Abigail button. Emergency Abigail button, and we have to kind of ban this, too. I think we have to ban this. If he bans Infernal Kawazu, we're dead. We have to go for this. Okay! We're still dead. Because <laughs> he's going to kill the LRK. Um, Alright. Cool. Cool stuff. Um, Briar Witch. Briar Witch and Lionheart. Let's hope that they can do some magic here. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping, guys, that we can pull some miracle. Because Elvira here is uh, a little troubling. She's a little troubling. By a little, I mean a lot. Because she could defense break someone like Kawazu. And we're dead. Because Midnight Gal Lilius is going to S3, right? Kill the LRK, push up the team. Elvira is going to S3 the Kawazu, defense break him. Alright, oh, okay. I mean, that's not terrible. We don't get to S3, but at least we get a defense buff. So, yeah, Elvira is going to S3 the Kawazu, and uh, he's going to be defense broken. That means Midnight Gal Lilius is going to loop back around and absolutely kill him, and it's over. So, we're dead. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're just dead. He's gonna S3 the... There's no way he's not gonna S3 the Kawazu, right? There's no way that he doesn't. Oh, he's... What? I mean, Lionheart's pretty much useless, though. Uh, we got an unhealable. Oh, shoot, the minute got Lily's a stealth. I don't like that stealth there. Okay. Arwell's gonna go, and he can't hit the Bryseria, which is kind of nice. He's gonna stun the Kawazu. I just need Elvira to do her extra attack. That's the AoE that we need. But I don't know if we can survive until then. That's the issue. Did Laya already push up? She did not. Oh no, we're doomed. We're doomed here. Um, we're just gonna have to hold off on this. I don't. I don't think we can do it though. I don't think we're gonna make it in time. My team's too slow. My team's way too slow here. Oh sh yeah, no. There's no way. Absolutely no way, guys. Absolutely no way. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys are recommending to me, like, you know, try something like Nor's Res, you know, you get... but um, it, it's it's hard. It's hard. You're committing how many units to try to counter an Elvira? This is the first time I think I've actually tried uh, bringing a couple of them together at a time here. There's no souls, I get it, there's no souls for the Soulburn for Bryseria, um, but I think even if I did bring souls, I don't think it would have made it through draft. Um, I think he was banning my last pick no matter what there. So, oof. That's rough. That's rough. What was that? Two losses in a row? Okay. We need we need to refocus. I think that RNL into dual tag kind of threw me off. Let's refocus here. Let's not try to cheese anybody. Let's just go for a uh, tried and true team. So Lua's banned, DDR's banned. That is fine. I'm gonna pick Laya, even though I don't think she's gonna offer me too much utility. See Lilius first picked out, that is kind of bad for me. Usually see Lilius Ocean Breeze Luluka is a very strong pick into Laya, I've seen. Because you can use Laya to cleanse the Sea Lilius, but then Ocean Breeze Luluka comes in and uh, you're kind of screwed after that, but... Abyssal You Fiend. How do you fight Abyssal You Fiend? Ocean Breeze Luluka this, and I'm gonna go Spez. Spez will be my damage dealer here. Navy Captain Landy is fine. That's okay. This looks like a Elvira team. This looks like an Elvira team. Uh, we're gonna go Elvira. Gonna trap our opponents in draft for this Elvira. And who else can be very, very strong? into Abyssal Euphine and Navy Captain Landy together. Bibulus? I feel, I feel like it. Can Laya survive? He can still counterattack us is the main thing. If he bans Spez... If he bans Spez... Are we still good? I don't think so, but let's do it anyway. Let's hope that he bans the Elvira. Let's go Biblis. We can defense break his team and just kind of chip everybody down. Hopefully we have the sustain for it. Laya is still a damage dealer, right? Laya could be... We could just treat her like a Dark Corpus in this match if uh, Spez gets banned. It's going to be a long one. It's definitely going to be a long one, but... Let's see what they go for. I think they have to ban Elvira. Is that, if I ban Navy Captain Landy, Abyssal Yuffie can't do anything with Elvira on the field. Let's go to LRK. Uh, double mitigation here. Crimson Armin and LRK. Do I care about the uh, the LRK? I do. kind of want to ban the LRK here. Honestly. kind of want to ban the LRK. Oh, whoa, whoa! He bans the Bibulus! Elvira's gonna be here with Spez. That's kind of interesting. I'm down for that. Does uh, Ocean Breeze Luluka need that effect resistance? I don't think so. I don't think the C Lilius will be able to provoke us very consistently. Even if she does, it doesn't matter because we got Laya to cleanse the first round. And we can save Ocean Breeze Luluka for later. Alright. He's gonna pop off. Maybe Captain Landy's pretty slow. It's a pretty slow one. Okay, that's fine. It's about my speed, actually. 150 speed, maybe. The Bissell Yavin's a little faster. Oh, he's just gonna try to uh, focus on the Elvira. 
Interesting. Uh, let us go for the ice cream buff here. Boom. Cleanse. And let's get the debuffs rolling. If we can get these debuffs onto this, uh, onto this Navy Captain Landy and this Abyssal Yufin, it's gonna be huge. Oh, especially the blind there. That is very, very nice. Now, I don't want to go for anything just yet. Let's go for the Sea Lilius, because that dual attack's gonna be quite annoying. Oh, these oh, these counter-attacks, guys. Look at that, he hits Spez, too! What is going on? Alright, let's go for an S3 onto the... Um, onto the Abyssal Yufin. I'm trying to kill the Abyssal Yufin here. Oh, no! Oh, shoot, guys. Really? 15% of that, too? I... I get hit by um, the Abyssal Yufin there, but he 15% that defense break. That's massive. Oh, I can't, I can't explain to you how massive that is because that essentially just shut down my Spez from killing this Abyssal Yufin with a with an S3 right there. So she would have been dead. Um, wow, she would have been dead too. It's awful. Laya can go for an S2, we can push up the team, we can get the uh, cooldowns reset a little bit as well, off the Ocean Breeze Luluka, get some healing off later, nice, missed, good, alright, sweet miracle, great, pop the S2, push everybody up, turn cycle, cooldowns doesn't affect the Elvira, uh, but let's go for, let's go for the Sea Lilius, I really want to try to get rid of the Sea Lilius here, she's super annoying, so let's see if we can strip anything. Get that Beguile going. Oh no, we, we don't strip anything! What? Alright then. Um, two turns for Immortality. Spez is still looking okay. We uh, we just need Ocean Breeze Luluka to get that Ice Cream buff back up. She is on Guardian Ice Crystals, but... Oh Jesus Christ, oh my god, my Spez! What? Guys, how is this fair? <laughs> how is this fair? Spez, come on. Push up Spez a little bit. Alright. We do have the S3 up, so let's go. Cleanse. Come on, Ocean Breeze Luluka. You can strip. You can strip these buffs. I just need these buffs stripped. Really bad right now. Really, really bad. We need silences. We need blinds. Thank you! Okay. Now we're looking good. Now we're looking good. Uh, Spez is gonna kill the Abyssal Yufin, who's been causing me infinite issues right now. So boom, grab, dead, extinction, fantastic. We're going to provoke the Navy Captain Landy. Okay, good. So that she won't hit anyone except Elvira. She's a good tank, actually, because of the immortality. Okay, pretty good here. Um, the unfortunate thing is Guardian Ice Crystals is uh, mostly healing this Elvira back for HP that doesn't matter. That's the only issue I have right now. Okay, so now we can Soul Burn this and we can kill the Navy Captain Landy. 30k HP Laya, this sh the Crimson Armin should not be able to uh, mitigate all this damage. There we go, oh my god, absolutely disgusting. Holy... Thank you, Spez! Finally getting the stun! But too little too late, because we already got the W there. Alright, I can breathe a little bit easier now, but my point values are not really increasing by much. In fact, I think we've been decreasing steadily with all the losses we've been accruing. But nevertheless, uh, that is going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more Epic 7 content. And until next time... Take care.